Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools music production course here at educator.com. Working with MIDI editor. In this lesson, we will take a look at dedicated MIDI editor window much closely. We will go over some of the functions that we haven't really covered exactly before. You will learn how to work in multiple MIDI editor windows, how to color and applies basic automation to your MIDI directly on your MIDI editor window as well as we're gonna go over the edit tools certain other things in the MIDI dedicated MIDI editor window so let's get started uh, working with the MIDI uh, there are a couple of ways to write and edit MIDI in Pro Tools one of them is directly from the uh, directly on the track which is uh, one of the coolest and nicest features I believe on Pro Tools not every uh, DAW will be able to do that but in Pro Tools there is an option of uh, choosing either seeing the notation clips velocity other automation parameters or even blocks when we go there you, we may have a clip view. Clip view on the uh, on MIDI clips helps us to cut, slice, edit, move uh, MIDI clips around in the same way that we do with audio. So at this point, clips view, it's kind of a nice view, I prefer. But if you wanted to uh, edit and write MIDI, there you go. You could actually go choose a note, move around and apply everything right here. You can enlarge the track size here. You can press T to zoom in and do certain edit things here. This is very cool, but even if I enlarge it and everything, it's still kind of like, uh, it can be good with the purpose of what you do, but maybe I need something bigger. And if that's the case, actually we open by this arrow our piano roll which is another MIDI editor of the same track same things apply again as long as this is checked here A to Z if it's not those uh, keyboard focus uh, key commands keyboard keyboard focus mode won't work that needs to be checked in A to Z here just to uh, fresh that in your memory we talked about that in the 101 course very detailed uh, this is another way to actually work with my MIDI. We covered some of these earlier as well. So again, uh, we have our piano right here. There is some automation I'm seeing. So I'm actually seeing some more things like uh, another different kind of uh, edit tools and edit modes here. If I choose this grabber here, it doesn't affect my edit uh, window I can choose slip here to work with my MIDI and it doesn't change that one on my edit window so I can actually work with my MIDI very separately uh, in a way and I can customize this and I can enlarge this but it's basically as big as it goes so I basically split it with my uh, this is the name of the track by the way this is I named it MIDI editor this is my edit window and this is my piano roll right here. So there's another way to open and close. We can go down here and it says MIDI editor checked right next to the transport in the toolbar. You can actually turn on and off this piano roll looking editor. But what about if I really want to work with my MIDI and we did use this one on especially on 101 course to use our uh, screen real estate in a better way that is the MIDI controller that's the dedicated MIDI controller and there are a couple of ways to get there let's go ahead and uh, choose this bass track of course we would like to maybe hear for a minute let's go ahead and hear this track that I I made it and from there we're gonna open the MIDI editor and work on it that's a pretty um, interesting uh, tweaked out track right here got to show you this again
Okay, but that's probably good enough. That's an air flanger by Advanced Instrument Research here. I tweaked a little bit. I don't think it's gonna uh, stay there. So I just command click on the uh, <laughs> plug in to turn it off. This is something we're gonna really get into in the automation uh, part of our course in the end of this music production because I'll be bringing some electronic tracks and we will be just creating uh, some sounds and uh, basically in a similar way some of the sound designers do so we're gonna tweak a lot of things and we can make tracks and people even like wouldn't recognize what the heck we are using actually in the in the track so that's just the end of the course under mixing and uh, uh, there are other uh, uh, things we're gonna cover with the automation so that's what I did on this flanger effect here just basically tweak and automate record the automation it's something um, gives a really cool and kind of strange effects sometimes but I'm gonna go to this uh, Pro Tools plugin right here that I used again the vacuum I use the bass from there that's called mean mode bass if I'm pronouncing right you probably heard my accent already since the beginning of the course uh, so there's a couple of ways to open the dedicated MIDI uh, editor here what we're going to do the first one will be under window menu you can actually go right here MIDI editor and turn it on command W to get rid of a current window there's a shortcut control equals also will open as long as it's selected now it open command W there is a couple of different ways of course you can right click and open it to your MIDI editor right here you could get the same menu I believe under the track too if you go to the name to uh, nameplate you could get that so uh, there are a couple of like different ways to open the MIDI editor however uh, there is one shorter than any of these um, double clicking on if you select a, a clip right away to selecting your clicking only one so if you double click it basically it will pop up on your screen but there may be other things also may pop up on your screen if you double click this and there's a way to adjust it either under setup menu we have preferences or that's you know we can get to it under Pro Tools menu to preferences it's grayed out right now but that's exactly the same thing um, and if we select the MIDI which is selected here lucky us and uh, here under the basics there is a double clicking MIDI clips opens MIDI editor because it's selected if you go to this drop down menu we could choose the score editor which up, uh, upcoming lesson is going to be about the score editor and we gonna go and set that one up for the score editor so we'll be working with scores mainly you could also choose MIDI event list and name dialog but at this point I'm focused on the MIDI editor as it was selected so I'm gonna get that MIDI editor double clicking on the clip and if it's something selected just like I would like to tell you this up front just make sure since I have a selection here as soon as I open it this opens the MIDI editor window selected also because it's selected in my edit screen edit window so this is something to uh, be very conscious about because if I wanted to go just like choose pencil or grabber tool to just like move couple of notes around and if I do that I'm gonna affect everything here so everything change luckily if that happens use your uh, undo uh, function right away we need to deselect this and there's a couple of ways to do that if you're beginning of the session you're gonna start editing something here go ahead and press return key and you will be at the top but let's say that's not the case and you're gonna like edit something around here whatever tool that you have if you go to the ruler MIDI editor also it's got its own ruler at the top here whatever the tool you select it it turns to the selector tool so if you're gonna work around somewhere here just click there and as soon as you select you have a selected area or if you click on the 
at the top of the ruler, you also get out of uh, the whole selection. This is very, very important.